What is up fam? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiff and I'm so excited that you are here. So now that it is fall, I mean not really, but it is in my house, it's time to do some DIYs. So I wanted to start out the fall season just sharing some really simple DIYs. Very simple to do with kids, with yourself. The first one being a wreath. So with wreaths, I found all of the supplies from Dollar General, all of them, the hot glue sticks, the florals, the ribbon, those giant leaves that you see on the left hand side, all of it, all of it from Dollar General. Uh, we spent about $100 and we got enough stuff to do about five or six different crafts. It was insane. Um, but as you see, I am just using the heck out of that hot glue, hot gluing different leaves together. And this is a hack that I've picked along the way. It can be really annoying with some of the more affordable leaves um, with how they crinkle up so if you get a straightener and you put it on the lowest setting um, and you go over it that'll help straighten it out and yeah 10 out of 10 I love the way that this year's wreath came out the next DIY is a potpourri dish so this was something that I kind of pieced together Jeremiah and I had gone to Ikea and we saw some potpourri that was really affordable, less than $5. And so we picked up two bags of that. And later when we had gone to Dollar Tree, we found the carvable pumpkins. And so I had the idea to either do a candy dish with these or to do a potpourri dish. And it just so happened that the potpourri worked out much better than the candy. I would recommend putting a plate underneath because the potpourri can kind of slip out. And so I like it to be able to throw it back in there. I like it to look kind of messy too. So sometimes I'll even just let it sit out, but it creates a really nice scent. I love that Ikea's um, scents aren't in your face. They're very, very subtle. So I just get a light whiff of it as I walk by. And there you have it, a potpourri dish. It literally took like five minutes to do. And the last DIY, this is literally my favorite thing to do. It is so simple. It's like stupid simple, I know. And you might think that this is a really silly thing to do, but I guarantee it adds a touch of detail that elevates the fall appearance. What you do is you just get ribbon, again, from Dollar Tree. They should literally sponsor me. Um, you get the ribbon, cut it long enough, and you wrap it around your chair. I know we have like the farmhouse style or whatever these are called, um, but you can do it to nearly any chair. I know some are weird, but you can make it work if you want to. I also will wrap ribbon around like banisters in the house. Um, just anywhere that you can tie ribbon, I say do it. Create a color scheme, grab two different colors of ribbon, and go around and add the little touches of magic. And it adds that little detail. Um, and I don't know, it's just so cute. I love the way it ends up turning out and looking. There we have it. Fall is being put up. I'm so excited. All of the supplies for each of the crafts will be listed down below. And of course, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you like the video. I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful week. Bye guys.